Where's that treasure map? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. It is Sunday. I hope you guys are having the best Sunday ever. Bring One-Eyed Willie out. Boom. To the party. He can't even see his one eye. Maybe we don't have room for One-Eyed Willie. So, today, today we're talking about prepping and stacking. And I know I've been talking a lot about this. Uh, we did set up a booth at a local market uh, for Prep Spot, my other venture. And we talked to so many great people, many of which prep, many of which stack. Uh, it was really neat to kind of see who's in the community and who knows what and who's doing what. And there were a lot of people that taught me stuff, which was super cool. Uh, you know, you got to put yourself out there sometimes and uh, it's totally worthwhile. Um, so today what I wanted to talk about was some of my most important things going on in my life. Um, of course, I've been kind of preaching prepping over stacking as of late. And, and I'm not saying give up on stacking, not by a long shot. In fact, I started stacking initially for a SHTF scenario. Uh, if you don't know what that is, shit hits the fan. I think most people know what that is. But basically, I got into this because I wanted to have some silver and gold available and set aside that in a bad or or you know whatever it is grid down situation that I would have something to trade or barter with or purchase with outright uh, and silver and gold is my means to do that that is why I love fractional silver I love constitutional silver it's broke down nice little separate amounts you know, I want one small item here. Here's five bucks. Let me trade you for that. You know, so that's very cool. And and that in that purpose alone, silver and gold has a great value uh, beyond stacking itself. But some other things that I routinely get into is, you know, I, I put together some bug out bags, some 72 hour kits. Look, I've been prepping for a while, for probably several years. I've got a lot of gear, but it's all over the place. I didn't actually have a 72 hour go bag for me and my family. So we spent the time we put one together um, for each of us, which, you know, it's one of those peace of mind things. You feel good about that. But something else I've been working on has been food storage, at home food storage for a bad situation. And look, we saw some of this. You know, especially here in Florida where I live, man, everybody dealt with the, the TP, the toilet paper crisis of 2020. That came out of nowhere. But you saw the shelves empty out too. It wasn't just toilet paper. And look, it doesn't take much. We've seen, what, Hurricane Ida, that tore up through New Orleans. They're a month without electricity. A month without electricity means the stores are down. Stores aren't selling, you know, it's already been a week and some odd. You're eating what you've got in the cupboard. You really better have something there. Um, you know, as that carried on north, it was a tropical storm. How many cities got flooded? Pennsylvania, New Jersey, people died. You know, those are circumstances where a go bag, you know, they only had minutes to evacuate because that just, that, rushing water is merciless it'll take you so having a go kit look you're not out anything you're out a few bucks you put it together it's there if you need it if you don't ever need it that's amazing that's fantastic uh, I was at Academy Sports buying more ammo I love stocking ammo it's just great to have uh, they had fire starters on clearance look I don't we, we bought fire starters, flint and steel, ferrule rods for our prep spot. I don't have one in my go bag. This was two bucks from Academy Sports on clearance. Guess what? I got it now. If I need it, I'll have it. Um, 
I'll get to the taser later. The taser is just incredibly fun, and it was sitting here. Yeah. Real deal. This thing is legit. Looks like a flashlight. You get it? All right. Maybe we'll talk about the taser now. <laughs> uh, anyway, far as my pantry goes, I stock what I eat. And this is all stuff that we routinely eat in our house. Uh, I'll open up these cans of tuna, the cans of chicken. I'll eat them with a fork right out of the can. Um, you know, to me, that's a fantastic source of protein, a quick meal. Spam. I grew up in Hawaii. Spam is my dirty vice. Like, I fry up some spam for breakfast at least once a week. I love spam. Uh, chicken and dumplings. They also make a beef stew, the Dinty Moor. This is a big can. Real hearty food. It's got protein. It's got calories, carbs. It's got all of that. It's a complete meal in a bad situation. And these little guys. It's just meat. It's cheap meat. Look, when I'm going somewhere and I need something fast or a quick snack, I grab one of these little cans and I take it with me. This whole pack was three bucks, 50 cents a can. I like the barbecue flavored. I don't really care for the plain. Get what you eat. You know, I've got several packs of those in my pantry. I'm going to eat those over the course of the next year. And as I do eat them, I'll grab another pack and keep the pantry stocked and full. First in, first out. That's a restaurant saying. It applies to your home pantry as well. First in, first out. Uh, I really, for those of you that are stacking, I know a lot of this in this community. There's a lot of you that do prep. There's a lot of you that stack only. They really go hand in hand together. Again, if you're going to spend money, silver, gold, to buy these things later on in an SHTF scenario, you might as well just buy the things you really want now and have them in place for when that time comes. Because trust me, if it doesn't come for you, it's going to come for somebody you know and love. There's going to be a friend, a family member, somebody that's not prepared, whether they didn't know, whether they weren't financially able to prepare, whatever the case is, there will be people in your life that you're going to want to be prepared for as well. And if you've got three months worth of pantry, that's great. If you're sharing that with two or three people, that's now a month and a half. So maybe you need six months worth of pantry. And, and I would urge everybody, food storage, stock up as much as you can. The prices are going up. Canned goods last three to five years off the shelf. That's a best buy date on them. They'll continue to last for 20 years. If there's no dents, and if there's no expanding can, the, the contents are good. They lose a little bit of nutritional value, but they'll sit for 10 years. But again, rotate it if you can. That's the name of the game. Stock your cupboards full. Be ready for anything that could come your way. And that's really it. And uh, this taser I bought because I loved it. I loved the idea that I could be walking the dog, have a flashlight, Somebody comes up on you, you never know, and boom, I can go ahead and hit him with some bolts and incapacitate him. This also charges. Man, it's just cool. I've seen generic ones. My brother-in-law got a generic one. It's not nearly as good. Uh, it does not work when the flashlight's off. But this is the kind of stuff you got to think about it, you know. This will have a purpose one day. Uh, and even if it doesn't, I feel better knowing my wife's walking around with one of these in her hand. You know, we live where there's bears. There has been coyotes. You never know when somebody else's pit bull is going to run up on you. Be safe out there, you guys. Have a great Sunday. Thank you for watching. This is a pirate. Talk to you later. Pirate out. <laughs>